Hey everybody, it's Matthew Reinhardt here, and today uh, I've got a guest today. Who is this? George. George. This is my nephew, George. Everybody, wave to everybody. Hi, everybody out there in YouTube. Hi, hi. George and I are gonna craft together. You ready to craft together? All right, let's get started. So today we're gonna make a special Halloween spooky pop-up that's really easy for for young people and for people who are new at making pop-ups, right? Because sometimes, sometimes I make stuff that's kind of hard, right? Yeah. And I, we got to make something easy. So what do we need? What do we got here? We've got... Markers, scissors, scissors tape, tape, and paper. Paper. And we have special paper. This is pretty thick paper. It's kind of like cardstock. We just cut it. You can use normal size um, cardstock, which is 110-pound cardstock. You can use white. You can use black. You can use whatever color you want to use. We are going to use this color so we can marker on it. And we've got two kinds of tape, too. There's one kind that's regular tape, and the other kind is, what kind is that? Double sticky, double-sided tape. That's, that's so there's, that's kind of like glue, but it's tape because it's got stick on both sides. It's easier. Right? It's easier. That's right. Okay. Talk with your hands like this. Hey, hi, 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 hello. How are you, George? You're both very fine. Okay, let's get started. You ready? All right, let's do it. Piece of card stuff. And what am I going to do? I'm going to fold it in half. All right? Let's fold it in half. So, George, and, and when we do it, we're going to line up the corners really nicely so we can make a nice card. Now, George is doing something really good with his. He's using... If you don't you you can use your thumb to make the crease there, or I might use the edge of the handles of my scissors, be careful you don't cut yourself, to rub it along that edge. How's it going there with that yours, George? Good. Let me see. So you all have made cards before, right? That's easy. So let's close our cards shut. We're all done. Now we are going to draw some lines. And the lines are going to be going towards the... So, and leave yourself plenty of room. Don't make it in the middle. Do it right about here. The first line we're going to make is this curved line. It's going to start down at the fold and it's going to go just like that. Ooh, that looks good, George. Okay. The next line we're going to make is going to be... a a circle with a line that goes down to the fold, just like that. Got it? The next line we're gonna make is sort of a triangle. One, two, just like that. All right, next one we're gonna make is a weird one. Now watch me do it first before you start. It goes like this. Mm, mm, mm. Can you do that? Good. The next one you're going to do is kind of weird too. So watch me do it first, all right? Mm -hmm. It goes like this. Like that. That's good. And then the last one's pretty easy. It goes like this. Ooh, you did a good job, George. Let's put away our markers for now. So these are the shapes that we need to make along the fold line. So see, it's only on one side. All right. So what are we going to do next? We're going to cut along each Line. Let's start at the top. So we'll do one at a time. I'll do it first, George. Pull, come over so we can see you a little more. Go right there. Okay. I'm going to do one, and then you do it. You do the same one. This. Let's start on this curve. We're going to cut it just like this. One. He's cutting it now. He's doing it very carefully. Let's do the second one. Now, this one's going to be tough. We're going to cut straight in. And then we're going to cut all around the circle. Hmm, I wonder what this is going to be. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone, George. But it looks like it's going to be a cool. So then we cut out the circles. 
George is cutting close to him. It's hard for every for him to cut close by. Then we're going to cut out this triangle here. I'm going to cut it just like that and that. You did it perfectly. That's perfect. That's perfect. It's okay to make little mistakes. It's okay. All right, so we cut out our little triangle. Let's cut this line. Get to the next one. You start the next one, George. So we cut out that line. Now, let's cut this curved line. And you're cutting through two layers of paper. So now I've cut all these flaps. Hmm, I wonder what it's going to be. Hmm. Don't tell anyone. It's a secret. George is doing really good with his scissors. Let's get rid of all this mess. Show everyone what you did so far, George. He did his just like I did mine. All right, here's the next step. We're going to fold these pieces. See, I'm going to grab this piece. Now, wait to watch me, George. I'm going to fold it back just like that. And I'm going to use my finger or, hey, let's use some of our scissors handles to crease that part. Just like that. You know where we, you know why this is a, no, let's keep it in place. Now, let's fold this bottom part here. We're going to fold it. Watch this. Watch how I do it. Just like that. Let's use our scissors again. So you know why George and I are on a special table, a different table than I usually work on, everyone? It's because we're on a cruise. We're on a Disney Vacation Club cruise. So I don't have my usual office stuff. This is all stuff I put in my backpack to bring along on our trip. So this is a special edition of Craft Together. Sometimes when you're on a cruise, you get a little bored, so we thought we'd make a, a craft, right? Okay, so we've got our pieces and they're folded back. Now what do we do next, George? Put them back. Put them back in place. So we do one and then two. And then you'll flip it over. We flip it over. And then what do we do? Fold them again just like the other. The other way? The other way. This way. And then this way. And you use... The reason why we like to make our crease really nice with our, our um, handle of our, our scissors is because it, it breaks some of the fibers in that fold and it makes the pop-up move better. All right, so we have them both folded this way. And then what do we do? Put them back. Put them back in place again. Oh, you make us do stuff, and then we have to go back and do it again and again. All right, now we hold it upside down like a tent like this. And then if you need help, you can get an adult to help you. I'll do mine first, okay? Watch, everybody. I'm going to push it in just like this. You wait. You wait, George. I'll help you. See how I pushed that in? See how I pushed it in? And now I'm going to do the other piece. I'm going to push this other piece. Watch, watch how I do this. Pushed it right in. And I'm going to close it shut. Now I'm going to help, and I'm going to mash it. Mm. Now, George, I'm going to hold it for you, and you push those pieces in. Let's do, it. Let's do it like this. So you push them in so everyone can see how you push them in. There's one. Kind of in the way of the camera, George. <gasps> He just covered it up. No, let's do it again. Let's do it again so everyone can see. Push it. Go around there and push it down. So everyone can see. There's one. And there's two. See how he pushed it in? Just like that. And then what do we do after that? Smash it. Smash it shut. Okay, don't open it yet. Don't open it yet. It's a secret. Okay, everyone. You ready to show it off, George? One, two, three. Whoa, look at, look at that cool skull pop-up. Look at that. Spooky. I'm so spooky. Whoa. Oh, they're, they're very loving, and they give each other smooches. All right, so now we have a cool pop-up skull. Oh, you know what we could do? If you want, you could even cut out teeth on your skull. I'm going to do that. Just like this. Look, I'm snipping out little pieces. Be real careful. And if you need help, 
ask an adult or somebody else who's better at scissors. Some people are good at scissors and some people aren't. See how I'm just snipping out little triangles so that they're easy? Ooh, your teeth are good, George. Don't cover mine up. Wait, don't cover mine up. People have to see how to do this. <laughs> All right. Should we get to coloring? <laughs> George, let's get going. Oh, it has a, oh, yours is, has a missing tooth. I like that. That's a good touch. Show everyone. Oh, I love those. Look at that. All right, George, we made our pop-up. Now what do we get to do? Color. Let's get coloring. Come on. Fold it in half. Fold another piece of clean cardstock in half. And it should be the same size as your original piece of cardstock. There's George's head. Then take a pair of scissors. Get your head out of the camera. Here, do that there. Be nice to it. There you go. All right, now that you got that fold down the center, I want you to open the card back up and cut it right down the center. Oh, I can't see this here. You could do it like that. Show everybody what you're doing. They can't see. He's keeping it closed, but cutting along the edge very carefully. That's a good idea. You can also do it this way. You can also just cut it right down the middle when it's open. That line gives you an idea. And then you're going to have two but pieces. Mine is super cool. Well, yours is a different way of doing it. All right. Now we've got our two pieces of paper that we just cut. And let's take our cards. Let's keep them closed. And let's use some double stick tape. And we're going to use some double stick tape and we're going to put it on the outside of our card kind of like this. You get yours. Get some. Put it on the outside of one side of your card. Just around mainly these pieces. Look at. We also want to get maybe a little bit right there in between. Just on one side. Double stick tape has stickiness on both sides. And if you have, if your piece is too big, you can use your scissors like George has. And then I'm going to use one of my pieces of paper and I'm just going to lay it on top to cover it up so that now my card has a cover. So it's covered on one side, see? Now you never want to use one piece of paper that's folded down the center because you don't want two folds being taped on top of each other. So make sure that you use two different pieces of paper to cover each side of your card. Did you put tape on both sides, George? No. You're just doing the first side. Double stick tape is much faster and easier than using glue. glue. Because glue, you probably have to wait all night. Well, or at least a few minutes. And I know some people don't like to wait very long. Hmm, I wonder who. Now we're going to put uh, our other piece of paper on top of that double-sided tape. And... I don't want this white. You don't want it white? Well, you could decorate it. So if you want, you can decorate it. Or you could leave it white. And now we have our very own really cool... You know what? I want the eyes to be dark in there. I'm going to use a marker to color in the Ooh, dark... That's actually kind of cool. I'm going to make it like that. Mm -hmm. Well... <laughs> Wait, we got to share. Wait. I love that people go in and out of the apartment while we're doing a video. Real nice. 
Well, there we go. There is our pop-up skull. Very simple and easy to do. Look how cool that card is. That's awesome. Ooh, spooky. And this could be used for uh, uh, Dia de, de, de los Muertos, or it could be used for Halloween or whatever we want. We can make this really simple, and it's just layers pop, but you could do this with a young person or, or an old person or anybody you want. Right, George? Let me see. I'm going to show it here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's awesome. Okay. What do we say, George? What's at the end of the video? Give a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And if you like what you saw, check back next time. We'll have some more crafts together and we'll make things pop. We like to make it pop, don't we? Oh, I mean, we made a, we made, yeah, we have other craft together videos, DIY, anything you want. Come on back. See you next time, everybody. Bye. Bye. George is still drawing. Bye.